Hey everyone, it's Jay here, and today I'm going to be continuing my mission pack for Feral Hogs, starting with mission 4, Electric Ladyland. It is a single player mission in which I have to go take two Feral Hogs down that way at the electric station. So hopefully it goes well, and I'll rejoin you guys when I get down there. Also today for the pigs, uh, at least in the single player mission, I am going to be using the 4570 because it packs a punch and I don't want them running away from the mission area. I found out yesterday if an animal runs out of the mission area after shot, it does not count towards the mission. So hopefully it works out. I'm also bringing the single shot. It's a free shotgun that you can get uh, even on a mem guest membership. And it will be perfect for taking down some pheasants if I run into them. I also have buckshot for it in case I run into coyotes and bobcats. My third is the 308 handgun and that is going to be specifically for deer. I'm gonna save it for the deer species. I love this handgun. If you haven't picked it up already there's lots of videos out that praise this weapon. It is such a good gun to have and I'll uh, continue on. So I just ran into uh, getting into the zone here and I just had the hogs call out there's one female called out there. I assume that's the group uh, for the mission. Once I get down here, I will call them into this station, and hopefully I get two of them come in at the same time, Then this mission goes nice and fast. So I've just gotten down here. You get a uh, notification in the top left corner when you've reached the area for any mission, normally if it involves going to a uh, location. So from here, I'm going to head down a little bit more and let out some calls. I see our first hog coming in. She's just behind the tree there. You can see her ear. And hopefully there's another one with her because I'd hate to just take one and have to restart and just for the sake of doing another run. But I'll let her come in and I'll see if the second one shows up. Looks like she's just calling there right now actually, so hopefully she's close. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like she's just coming in behind that one. So this might work out perfectly. And with that, oh, it looks like there's three of them coming in now. So I got a couple bits, uh, a little bit of choice here for which ones I got to take. Hopefully these ones come in a little bit closer. You see she's starting to trot off. She must have lost attraction. So I'll let out another little squeal and see if she turns around. And when this one gets close, I'll likely take one in the back first and then her. Let's see. I might be doing this live. Yep, I think we're going to have to do it. As you can see, she was about to make an attempt at charging us there. I'm sure that would not have gone as smooth if she would have started running. But sometimes you get lucky like that in this game. Let's pick them up and see what we got here. They're not just sows. They're not going to score very much, but hopefully they'll both tick over for the mission. And first female there, 300.998. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like I got the uh, mission tick over there. Oh, what's this? Well, there. Now I definitely got the mission. <laughs> That's strange. Sometimes they'll bounce off the southern edge of the island like that. It just seems to work out like that sometimes. Alright, let's pick up this one. And the score is going to be 306.950, so just another basic female. And that will be the mission completed. I am going to switch over to multiplayer map for the next part of the missions. I like to run multiplayer maps. I have all my maps are set up with tents and tree stands and what have you, so I like to set up a multiplayer game so everyone can come and enjoy what I have here and uh, I'll let you guys know when I've done that and we'll get started on the next mission so I just started up a multiplayer game I spawned at the border lodge on Loggers Point and I'm ready the next mission is all along the watchtower you need to take one essentially from all three of the towers in the game starting from the north one if you want to do it in order so I'd have to start here and then go to this one where I have a feeder so that one should be very easy and then from there head all the way down and get this south tower hopefully it works out I do not want to fast travel hopefully it works out properly and hopefully I can get myself on some hogs really quick we'll talk to you guys later 
Oh, and another thing, because I've looked ahead at the wiki and I know what's coming up, I've also brought the snake bite along, so hopefully I get to use it for this uh, mission that's coming up. I need to take three with the snake bite, but that's not for a couple missions ahead. So I've arrived at the first tower. I am just going to sit here. I had a bobcat call out, so I put out an electronic collar. Uh, the best part about doing missions like this is you don't have to strictly go after that one animal. You can, you're free to hunt around, like... Don't worry about getting too uh, sidetracked either, because most of the times when you do get sidetracked, you end up running into your target animals anyways. I will record any animal that comes through here, and uh, if I get a feral hog, I'll definitely be recording that. So, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Well, this is going to turn into an easy first part of the mission. Hopefully he comes in nice and close, and I can keep quiet and use my bow. So, it looks like my fun's going to be spoiled by some mule deer, but that's fine. That's why the 4570 is with me today. I guess we'll start by taking him and we'll see if we can get one of the bucks. Well, I definitely hit him there. Hopefully, I, uh, maybe I'll put another one in if I can. Yeah, that's two in him. He shouldn't go far at all. Well, I'll let you see what the pig scores here. So here's our hog that we took down. He's going to be about, I don't know. Yeah, that's about where I figured he'd be. 800s. Uh, nice weight to him, too. He will make a fine addition to the mass of pigs that we've killed over the over the years I've played. I've been playing this game for about six years. And uh, most of the time you're going to find ones about this size. But maybe I'll be able to find a big one while I'm doing these mission tutorials. So one of the things to look out for when you're out hunting around is uh, sheds and other collectibles. There are leaderboards for sheds, and if you find big enough ones, you could end up on the top. 88.801 on the shed, that is a nice deer. So we're just getting up to the middle tower now. Um, I heard Pig up there to the north, I'm not sure if he's around still. They do happen to trot off a lot, even when they're calling. I was calling for him, but sometimes they get out of range before they get attracted. So I will sit up here in this tower and I will let you know as soon as I have a pig. There's the pig I was talking about. Looks like he's coming in. I will try to use the bow for this one because this is one of my favorite spots for bobcats. Uh, I have a bobcat coming in already actually. I think I'll take this bobcat with the bow before my pig gets in. Let's see how we do here. Yeah, she shouldn't go far with that shot. Uh, I might have nicked body, but normally cats don't go very far. So, the pig has gotten plenty close enough, so I think we'll try and take him with the bow here right away. And hopefully he doesn't go very far. Ah, I love when they face me like that. You can almost go for a brain. Just like that. It goes from brain. Sometimes you can even catch heart at that angle. Oh, let's see what he scores. I'm kind of interested to see where I hit him, actually. It's one of my favorite ways to shoot pigs from a tree stand or a tower like that, straight down into the head. And we got right long neck bone to shoulder blade. And there's the feral hog from the middle hunting tower on Loggers Point. And when I rejoin you guys, I will be all the way down here. I might fast travel. Uh, it all depends. I'm just going to go pick up this cat. The cat was small. So I decided to fast travel down here to the south tower. Uh, nothing called out when I got here on spawn, so um, it could be a long wait to get a pig in. I'm going to let out some calls and see where the game takes me.
Hey guys, so for the final part of the, uh, all along the Watchtower mission there, I had some company over so I couldn't really record myself talking, but, uh, we're on to the next mission now, which is Take a Pig over 180 kilograms. Um, I got a feeder set up way over here at the middle tower, so I filled it. Hopefully there's gonna be pigs there. So as I thought, there's lots of lookers. Getting a 180 kilogram hog is very easy in this game, and we'll probably lead with that one because he's the right size. I'm just going to take a couple looks around. I had a buck call. I want to see what he looks like. And I'll uh, rejoin you guys when I'm about to shoot. Alright, the buck was small. We're going to start with this guy and see if I can get a couple extras. I think I hit every single one except for that last one. Well, well let's see how we did. The one we were looking for. And he is. That is the weight that we were looking for. Over 182. Mission should tick over now. Where my game could almost crash. That was weird. Well, I'm going to sit him up and then we'll say our goodbyes. So, I'll thank you guys for watching. Um, probably next video will come out in two days and we'll take on the next three or four missions. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.